Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I am a little bit nervous, but very excited because I want to have another hair change. And you're probably thinking I could be having a very premature midlife crisis with all the hair changes that are going on. <laughs> um, but why not? You might as well just have fun with the hair you have. And I feel like I can't dye my hair um, because that would be sacrilege. Um, so I'm just going to play around with it with the styles I can do. I also feel like it's got to a bit of an awkward length um, so I'm going to let it grow and I've been having it up a lot so I wanted to have a fringe cut in or some sort of thing going on um, because I feel like the blunt look has got a bit too long for it to look quite as good so change that today. <laughs> I feel like all of my hair cutting videos start off with me having a slight freak out but that's okay. <laughs> just keep seeing fringes everywhere online and they are just following me around and telling me to cut my own fringe in so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Got the mirror over here so if I'm looking over here um, that is why. Um, okay I'm gonna probably start Oh my god I'm actually quite scared <laughs> so I think first things first I'm just going to section my hair and do some short sides like I used to and if that's all I want to do then I'm going to stop there <laughs> and I can always add more hair into this but I can't take it away so let's tie this bit back and then I'm just going to pull this down in front of my face check that it's even amount of hair. I actually need a bit more from that side. I've got the two sections at the front and I'm going to create the side bits first. So I'm just going to pull this down and I'm going to just trim into it a little bit. Just chopping into it. Like so. And then I'm just going to hold my scissors at this sort of angle and just sort of slowly taper those down towards the end. I've been playing around with my fake fringe. <laughs> I might get it and show you actually. So this is the fake fringe I've had for a while and every now and then I try it on. But it's not the nicest shape in this fringe. Um, it goes way too far out to the side but I just try and put it on to see if I would like it and everything like that so what do we think should we go for it <laughs> obviously it won't look like that hopefully not so now I'm going to decide how much hair I'd want in this fringe I reckon about I'm gonna start with a reasonably sparse fringe, not a super heavy block fringe. And I just want to make sure that this little triangle is even on both sides and nice and neat. I reckon that's a good amount of hair to start with. So I'll tie the rest of my hair back again and then I'm just going to spray some heat protectant quite a lot to sort of make it a little bit damp and I want to retrain this um, centre part in here. So I'm just going to quickly blow dry that. Okay. So I'm just going to take this tiny middle front section first, so I'm going to put the rest behind my ears and I'm going to take this little front section and I'm just going to chop it reasonably long, so about my eye line. I'm just going to go a bit lower than that and just chop up into it and then I haven't gone crazy short just yet and then I'm gonna carry on getting shorter and shorter um, but just chopping up into it I'm sure I'm doing 
a lovely cross eye look right now. <laughs> and then I'm going to take some more in and chop some more bits in. Now I'm going to just start slowly chopping into the fringe. Might add a little bit more hair into this fringe because it's going to be very sparse otherwise. And then I'm going to get it a bit wet and properly blow dry it so that it sits in the right sort of position. So I've just put a little bit more hair forward. I'm going to take these side bits away again. And then I'm going to try and match these hair lengths so that I can trim these bits. So I just went and wet my hair so that I can try and get rid of my centre parting um, because we don't want that. So I'm going to brush it from side to side and blow dry it at the same time. Put the mirror closer so I can see properly when I do this final bit. So I'm literally just going to take the little bits up, cut up into it. I feel like when you're cutting a fringe it's just really a case of taking your time sectioning it and being patient um, and I feel like I'm gonna want to wash my hair and sort of try and properly style it after this. Okay and now I've got it the length I want it I'm just chopping into it slightly to make it less blunt. Okay there we go there's a fringe. I'm just gonna go and clear up this mess that is over here and then we can decide what to do with this hair because it's still sticking out a tiny bit but I think I just need to wet it and dry it again um, because I obviously cut into it after I wet it so yeah but oh my god I got a fringe again <laughs> I really like it I'm so happy I just need to flatten it and curve it down a bit so I'm gonna go and do that Okay, I've just dampened down the fringe again and blow dried it and it's still sticky outy but I'm just going to have to get used to styling it again um, because I haven't had a fringe for about four or five years, four years maybe it's been since I had a fringe. Last time I had a fringe it was, I just started uni so yes, I actually really love the way this looks. And I've been wearing my hair up a lot recently and I've been really worried about my hairline because I've been sort of scraping it back again. And now I won't be worried because it will all be on my forehead. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sure I'll be trimming and fiddling with this for the next few days, but I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I love the shape of it and the length of it. I hope you guys don't hate it. <laughs> Hopefully this has been helpful if you're wanting to cut your own fringe. Um, and yes, do it when you're in a good mood. I was in a good mood, so I think it went well. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.